Hello, my beautiful people. Um, today I am on a little solo road trip to Atlanta and I decided I wanted to make a vlog, a vlog about it. So basically I woke up this morning. It's a Saturday. It's beautiful out. It's 70 degrees and sunny. And I put on this dress and this hat and sunglasses. I walked out of the house and I thought I was just going to a coffee shop. And then I thought Atlanta is very close to me. So you know what? I'm going to Atlanta. So I called a couple of friends um, and they aren't available. So I just thought I'm gonna go anyways because there's some um, there's some stores in Atlanta and some stuff that's just not available where I am. And I just thought it's a beautiful day and I might as well take advantage of it. So I'm gonna take you with me and show you a couple cool spots I find in Atlanta to give you some recommendations if you're going and kind of just some feminine tips on how to have a great little excursion where you can just be the main character and you know just really grab life by the handles or whatever people say and just live in the moment it's the weekend it's a day off um i'm gonna have a beautiful day so come and with me before we get started i want to give you a couple little safety trips be safety tips because as a woman um you have to be careful being solo um, send your location on your iPhone to a couple friends you can depend and your mom or whoever and um, make sure you have your gas full make sure your car is good to go um, and um, basically that I mean be home before dark so don't drink and drive you know the obvious so yeah sent my location away and now I'm just filling up on gas and I'll see you in a minute Hey, um, update. I went to DSW and TJ Maxx in, um, the Buckhead Mall, I believe. And, oh, I'm starving. And I went to the lady at TJ Maxx and I asked her for recommendations. And she told me about a place called Wynn, which is Bali food and a Del Frisco grill. Wynn is not open right now. The Bali food, or... Yeah, when the Bali food is not open. But let me know if you've ever been there. I want to go next time. And Del Frisco is like super fancy. And I'm not against fancy. I just couldn't find any parking. So I found a South African place called Yibo Beach House. So I will let you know how that is. And I'll get, take some pictures while I'm in there. But for the time being, do you want to do a little haul? Uh, TJ Maxx style. Again. I found some cute jammies. It is a shirt and pants set that is um, brand born and it was $17. These are my staple go-to socks. $10 for 10 pairs. And I got some undies <laughs> and then I got this little headband for when I do my makeup. Some hair clips. This is with seven dollars. And then I got my mom some blueberry towels for eight dollars. And I had to get a thank you gift for a teacher I've been working with this semester and I found a really cute little deal at TJ's office. I'm feeling really uncomfortable because there's people around and I don't like them to think I'm crazy. So, um, it's a really cute little candle that's very unique. I've never seen this. It's called Sincerely Jewels Home, the brand. I got one like this for one of the teachers and one like this. So, they're really adorable and unique and I just want to get a gift that they will use. At DSW, I had really embarrassing shoes on coming here, and I'm just done with them. So I got these cute little um, wedges. Wedges. So yeah, I'm having a good day in Atlanta. I'm ready to eat. I'm starving, and my mood will improve 99% once I eat.
Wow, guys, I am really impressed with that restaurant. I'm really glad the other one didn't work out. There was parking for $2 um, for an hour. And then there was this restaurant, it's called Yibo Beach House, like I said, and I totally highly recommend it. I'm in a, such a good mood now that I ate. Mmm, full. So yeah, um, what I ordered there was the hummus platter and a side of Brussels sprouts as my meal and a coffee. Um, waitress was super nice. It was a beautiful environment and I'm really glad I came at 3.30 like I did because it was like very calm. And there were beautiful people around me and I was just like, wow, this is so nice. And it was the nicest environment. I'm going to show you a little video. My phone did die in the beginning of the meal. So I didn't get pictures of the meal. But it is a very different kind of experience going to eat by yourself in a city that you're not from at a fancy restaurant. And at first I was like, oh my gosh, it's a little bit nerve wracking. But I brought my notebook in. That's my pro tip. Bring your notebook and write your little to-do list or your goals. And I wrote some manifestations that I'm manifesting at the moment. And I felt really good. I felt like, wow, like this is what it's like to up level and <clears throat> put yourself in a situation you might not normally do. But it felt great. And I felt like I tr really treated myself and enjoyed the food and conversated with the food. <laughs> I didn't actually talk to it, but I was tasting it. Ooh. And since my phone was dead, I just had my notebook and the food so I could live in the moment more. 10 out of 10 recommend this place for some South African food. Now going to Trader Joe's. It's really close. Okay, guys, I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. I just finished at Trader Joe's, so I'll do this one more little haul for you. Um, while I'm in the car and um, yeah so I kind of went in and out I knew what I wanted I knew what they had and um, I didn't want to do a big grocery shop there were a couple things I needed though uh, so flowers are usually on a good deal there so I got a dozen yellow roses that are in my trunk um, for ten dollars then I got um, uh, greeting cards there are, are always a good deal these were all 99 cents so people, I hate paying $5 for a card. It's just so dumb. I like making my own cards or um, Trader Joe's has a really good deal. So this was a cute one for Mother's Day. And I got a thank you card for the teacher that I was working with. So they're very cute and unique. And um, might as well get them while you're at Trader Joe's. I got a green juice because this week, like I said, is all going to be about new, fresh energy for my 26th year. Um, I I want fresh flowers and I, I'm going to do this green juice every morning um, and just see how it is. They can be gross sometimes, but I feel like I need to get accustomed to it. This was only about $5 too. Um, I got sourdough bread. Um, and then I picked up a couple of things for my friend that he needs and honey, which was $4 for honey because I was out of honey, but that's basically it guys. Um, yeah, I recommend Trader Joe's for flowers and cards and everything. Um, I am ready to hit the road and get home before it gets dark. And I appreciate you guys watching and just spending the day with me here in Atlanta. Um, and if you ever head down to Buckhead, be sure to stop at Yibo, Trader Joe's, the mall. Like, have a little date with yourself. That's a summary that I got out of this day. It's like, I had a wonderful little date with myself and I was having an iffy week. It was just like a little bit, ugh, like not the greatest week for me. And I was like, it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go do something and I don't need to wait for anyone. So um, I encourage you to do that. Um, go out to a nice restaurant where no one's going to be looking sideways at the price. You're looking at the price and you're, you are treating yourself to a nice lunch and a nice scenery. Um, and yeah, so this is something I'm definitely going to do again. Um, have a great day guys. And don't forget to pour some energy into yourself and discover that princess queen inside. I know I sound so corny, but when you start doing it, you really feel it. 
It's awesome. So yeah, have a great day.